was good for us too. I don't have a frog in my pocket. There's going to be more guys coming up on stage soon. <laughs> but uh, my name's Casey James. I'm one third of Texas Hill. And uh, in fitting form, I think we got some Texans in the house. Y'all make some racket for me. That was freaking weak sauce. You're supposed to represent. Give it up, Texas. Come on. There we go. Derek, I didn't see, I didn't hear you. I couldn't hear you at all. What's going on? You, something in your throat right now? Or get it later, it's all right. All right, we're going to play a bunch of tunes for you this evening that we wrote and a few that other people wrote, but uh, we're going to start with this thing called Sugar Cane. Thank you. 
so much for coming to hang out with us. Are y'all ready for some music? Yeah. Well, we won't leave you hanging then. Got a couple of those for you. almost feel bad doing this one in here, but this, this one right here is another kind of bourbon, so it, it works, right? Yeah, you know, it doesn't taste as good, but... Yeah. So we'll play like it says Wheeler's Raid instead. Wheeler's Raid don't sing so well. That's the only problem. Well, you just haven't written that one yet. Yeah. 
Just a different kind of smoke, Adam. <laughs> All right. Here's the first song we ever wrote together. Yeah. It's been a long time writing it. There was a ping pong table in the same room. In the same room. <laughs> I think it's got a it's got a co-write on it. <laughs> I think you said that's the case. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. 
Y'all give it up for Craig, guitar drumming over there. I call it beatboxing. Yeah. Beatbox. We have to buy a new guitar about every couple of weeks, but it's worth it. You know. Hey Matt, will you turn up the uh, electric guitar in my way? It's just, I'm talking like, just breathe on me. I can go for a little bit more of that over here too, man. Well, we can take a breath. That'll do it. Thank you, brother. We've been spending our uh, COVID time hanging out in the studio and writing songs. That's okay to clap for. Bands do write their own songs every once in a while, still. That's a little bit like a golf game there. I don't know. We gotta practice this really fast. When I do this right here, that's when you're supposed to like scream and holler. Here we go. I don't even have to teach you anymore. You already learned it. Adam have learned it now. Well, a lot of them. How many, how many of y'all were at the last show? Yeah? There's a lot of newbies in here. How many of newbies? Good. How many is your, is it your first time? <laughs> how many people is it your first time to ever see us in person? Oh, good. All right, well, more importantly, how many of you have seen me sing before? So where the lonely go?
they told us Texas Hill wasn't the right name for this band. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, that's kind of Texas, isn't it? I mean, I'm from up north, but as far as I'm concerned, it's about as Texas as it gets. Y'all sure are quiet out there. Come on. I heard you guys are, you guys usually get a little rowdy in here. Yeah. Yeah, those, I'm alright with them listening tonight. That's alright. Here's one that you might know. There's a button on there you're supposed to push. I got it. Yeah. The talent button I found. <laughs> Press it again. No, 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 no. I had to turn it off. That's too much. I don't want to overload the keyboard. Last night, and we were we were uh, we, we didn't know if we were gonna get uh, 
there was a show after us, and so we got about halfway through the show, and they're like, yeah, you're done. We don't have that problem tonight. We're going to play as much as we want. That's right, 92 minutes. Just enough. This is our second to last song, but... Uh,
Don't worry, we won't break any more screens. Yeah, Don't say just kidding. I probably will. Like I said earlier, we've been in the studio uh, recording some new stuff. Let's do a quick shout out to our buddy Caleb Fisher right there. Raise your hand, buddy. He's been mixing all this stuff you guys have been listening to. Woo! Woo! Thanks, man. All right. We don't know that they've been listening to it, actually. We have we have CDs available for those of you who haven't been listening to it. But, you know, let's hope so. This is a brand new one for us. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one. It reminds me of riding this elevator up and down a... You know, like a high-rise building or something. Uh, yeah. Hang on. He didn't get it. <laughs> Dude, my dad jokes are supposed oh, to work I on you. I get it. I get it. I get it. I write songs that aren't going to make me any money. I <laughs> That's a problem, because it won't make me, me any money either. I get it. You ready? Uh, I'm very close. I want to pull a crack here, you know? <laughs> Alright, I got it. Now I'll play those wrong notes out of tune. Oh. Sorry. I just got this guitar yesterday, man. I'm sorry. I don't give instructions. <laughs> Alright, good.
makes me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell it all about our troubles. We will hear our famous cry. We will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn it, you will know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Yeah. A million thousand fears my eyes been filled with tears, but Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him and pray. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our famous cry. We will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer. Adam, we're leaving you here. All right, peace out. Right. We're going to give you people what you've been finally waiting for. Yeah. <laughs> A pee break. Feel free. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're all going to play a song here. Um, it's actually a competition. There's actually leaflets out. We hand it out to everybody. You can rate them, and at the end, whoever wins gets to keep playing for the next set. So. It's a free bottle of bourbon. There you go. All right. Um, I'm going to do a little song I wrote yesterday morning at 6 a.m., actually. I, uh, I made it through it last night. I pulled it out. It worked out. That's no assurance for this version, but... Uh, and I'd like to dedicate this song. Well, let me tell you about what it's about here real quick. So, you know, in, in COVID times here, and, uh, you know, as, a, as an artist, um, we're on the Instagrams and the social media all the time, and and, uh, and I follow all these people I don't even know that I'm supposed to be following. I just... Someone follows me, and then I'm supposed to follow them back, I guess. I don't know. Somebody clicks a button, and now I watch people's stuff on my Instagram feed. And there was a lot of... Everybody's been doing songs about hope and everything, about COVID times. And I'm like, ah, shut up. Just stay home and watch Netflix. You'll be fine. Uh, I know. It's a little insensitive. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm broke, too. So, uh... And then, sure enough... Karma bites you in the ass. I got up uh, yesterday morning at 6 a.m. And, and just had this epiphany about... Um, I think for me, I heard a lot of songs about everybody binding together and, and, and trying to get through this thing. And, and I feel like right now we got finally got a little ray of hope, a little light at the end of the tunnel here. I'm ready to ride on some roller coaster rides, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I thought about the people that... Uh, were really affected by this and, and the people, some of the unsung heroes and, and uh, for me the biggest ones is the fans um, and folks that come to shows and, and uh, you know I hate not being able to connect with them and, and for folks that are on social media a lot, Instagram and all that stuff, it's not really that big a deal because they're always on there talking to them and doing lives and stuff I don't really like to do that very much, I like to just say hi to people face to face and play music for them face to face so um, you know, I feel bad for anybody who's like, I'm going to go on and do stuff, I'm sorry, it's not really my thing, but, um, so I was thinking about it, and I was like, man, uh, these are the, these are the real heroes, the people that are, you know, waiting to come back and see some music, and, and I felt really bad, so, kind of had an idea for a song, and I got up and I wrote it, and that, 
being said, I'd like to dedicate this song to Missy and Matt. Where are you guys at? You guys stand up over here. You guys were the first people I thought of when I was thinking of this song. These guys have been to, how many of these shows have you been to? 40? Over 40 at this point? 40 damn shows. Y'all give them a round of applause. Over 40 shows they've been coming out. And, uh, so, it's, it's people like you. You could go find about 150,000 more people we'll just like you. That's we'll great. Um, but, yeah, so, one of, the, one of the people's in the verse is, you'll know who, is one of you guys in this song. So, um, so this one goes out to you guys. Tell the girl in the front, singing every word, and her daddy in the back, woman goes because of her, and the guy who lives early to take his friend home, and the girl who records the whole set on her phone.
about that song? You just did. I think you wrote that while he was, you know, morning deuce. Just tossing out songs. He brings like a song factory. I guess I'm pretty loose tonight. I never say deuce on stage, so it's a little inappropriate. I feel bad about it. I honestly do. I'm sorry. Can we strike that from the record, please?